Well, welcome back. It's the Monday MLB Central presented by Hyundai, and we are going round and round the bases, and credit must be paid to this young man. It is Matt Olson, gentlemen, who broke the Braves' single season Congratulations, record. Congratulations, With Matt. his 52nd, 52 oh, yeah. wow, runs. Wow, what a year. Over the weekend. Of every, I just keep thinking of everyone who's put on that uniform ever. He's Think about guy. that. Right? There have been so many great players. Hank Aaron, Dale Murphy. Eddie Matthews. And Eddie Matthews. Chip Jones. And he has played David Justice, Bob Horner, every single game, which is for me, I don't know, it's equally as impressive. It just is. So I'm I gonna, love it. I want to give love to Matt Olson. First off, you know why. We've been saying it for a while. He took over for a franchise icon, and not that people have forgotten about Freddie, they never Ooh. will, but they've certainly moved on. Are you yeah. kidding me? I, I want to, first year, last year, coming in for Freddie. And he would say he had a bad year. He hit 240, had 44 doubles, 34 bombs, and 103 RBIs, and played a buck 62. Played every game. Wow. And then this year he backs it up with 52 and 129, and he's not hitting 220. 278. And he took an 0 for 5, and he's hitting 278. So, Matt, just unbelievable job. You have been better than advertised coming over. To Atlanta. Yeah. And I was sitting there at Roflo. You were watching the Colorado Colorado State mm -hmm. game till two in the morning. Yeah. Like everyone else. In the uh, world. Except for me. <laughs> and me and Mac were sitting there and we we're discussing some stuff. And I'm like, you know, I just throw teams at them. I'm like, can yeah. they win a World Series? Yes or no? Obviously, Braves are one. Sure. You know, really diving in on the Braves. You tr you trust their starters. You obviously trust their lineup. There will be a moment, Mac even said this, there will be a moment in this postseason where potentially Rossell Iglesias has got to stare down Bryce Harper. He's mm -hmm. got to stare someone big down. And you want to trust he can so get it done. I'm that, a little, you got it. If you're concerned about anything, I mean, their bullpen ranks recently have, have been really tough. Okay. But every every team goes in with a little bit. And we've seen postseason games executed differently. Absolutely. Charlie Martin closed out the World Series, you know. So yeah, no, that's a very good. That's very a very good. good point. And Bryce Elder's getting the ball in Game Four because if anybody saw them celebrating, if you were ever worrying about who gets the ball in Game Four. Why? What? I didn't see it. <laughs> what? That dude was ripping a parliament, <laughs> having beers. He gets game four for me. Here you go. Boom. You got I like his mojo. Yeah, I like, I, like, I like the cut of your jib as BK. W what, are you, uh, what do you make of the Toronto Blue Jays? I don't know. After getting swept in a four-game series at home by the Rangers, then they follow that up with a weekend sweep of the Red Sox, including back-to-back walk-off wins. Where are you on the Blue Jays right now? Well, is it day-to-day? I, I got to build, if I'm John Schneider, I'm building off the fact that they were able to flush that Rangers series because that could have killed them. Yeah. That could have right. ended the season, and they didn't allow it to. They flushed it. They came back. They took on a Red Sox team, and whether or not they played fundamentally sound baseball all the way through, they found ways to win. Their starters still give them a chance to win every night when they take the bump. Any? I, I still like this lineup. I like the bullpen as currently constructed. I'm telling you, one of these teams that is frustrating us to high heaven is going to make a run when this thing You might be right. Robert's hoping it's his. You, you, I mean, that's a very you, good you point. You don't get to worry. That's a very good point. Six straight and by the way, the Blue Jays have struggled within the American League East division. So to do that to the Red Sox, a team they've had problems with, that's big. They got the, who they got, Yanks? Yeah, they, they got the Yankees. The Yankees and the Red Sox the rest of the way. The Yankees want some. Jays looking for their fourth straight win. Meanwhile, the Diamondbacks get the Giants after they swept up the Cubs. And this is, I mean, we're looking for clarity. Robert, you were talking about it going yeah. to break. This is their, this is Giants season right here. Total team effort. I mean, they have the Cubs number. There's no question about it. What they take, six or seven? In the last 10 days, they played them seven times in 10 days. You remember how poorly the Diamondbacks were coming out of the All-Star break? For a young team, to un, you know, to face that and yes. rally back, that's a testament to the not only the players, but Tori Lovello and his staff. Yeah, and, and Tori Lovello is a father figure. We love him. Yeah. So you know for a young player, he'd be the perfect manager to hold you accountable. I love their savvy moves at the deadline to surround some of the younger talent they have on their yeah. team with some of those crafty veterans, the Bam, Tommy Peterson. fans. I love Longo in that dugout. Evan Longoria has got to be a breath of fresh air to lean on for a lot of those guys. Can I ask you a mind scrambler? Give it to me. Give me those, give me the wild card standings one more time. Lucas Seven and Qualps, can I see it? Which of those teams you least, least want to face? Is that how you say it? Least want to face? Uh, 
Diamondbacks, um, Marlins. Take Phillies out of it. Take the Phillies out. Diamondbacks, Marlins, Cubs, Reds, Giants. Wow. Maybe the Marlins. Well, Gallons, I, I, my eye Gallons went right the best there. starter, Diamondbacks right? Diamondbacks and Marlins. My eye. Uh, I mean, maybe the Marlins because Gallon of pitching. Steel. Jesus Lazardo looks so good. Jeez, look at the schedule. I'll tell here. you what, the Miami Marlins are very sneaky because they can they can punch tickets and they got guys who can go deep, strewn throughout their lineup. Cincinnati seemingly has a has a path. Um, although the Cardinals are playing better. We're going to do this every day I hate to say, it, cha for I hate to say it changes every day. You're right, day, but it does. But it, it does, because you would you would have thought Cincinnati has a lot of the tiebreaker scenarios already kind of locked in. Yeah. So you would lean towards them. Uh, interesting series beginning tonight in Houston. Astros Orioles meeting again for the second time this season. Earlier this year, the Astros took two of three in Baltimore and actually had a chance to sweep. But now the Orioles fresh off clinching a postseason berth yesterday for the first time since 2016 now have to go into Houston. Oh, by the way, there have been changes made to the batting eye at Minute Maid yeah, I Park. I saw that over the weekend. Uh, Jose because, Abreu was, was saying. Yeah, so the Astros have been so wonky at home. Let me pull up. What kind of changes? Uh, the Astros are 38 and 37 at home, Lauren. They are 46 and 29 on the road. Lauren, there's moments. There's the pitching matchup. There's moments real quick, batter's eye related, where, and if you bring me on camera, you're you're looking, right? And and in Houston, you have that, that ivy, mm -hmm. that green ivy. Now, if a pitcher happens to get outside that green ivy and picks up like a different nook and cranny of the ballpark, it could throw, you don't see the baseball. Yeah. There were that happened a lot in the minor leagues, like a kid would come out of a white sign and you'd be like, hey, um, yeah. like, what do you want me to do? What are you looking for in this series? What I'm looking for, first off, I want the Orioles to enjoy the moment, but I think winning the AL East is paramount for them. Okay. It would make their road to the ALCS like super quick. I yeah. think they riding hot. So I would say to them, this is not a punt series like the Atlanta Braves just had <laughs> with the Miami Marlins because you know the Rays are on your tail. I think it's a great matchup for them tonight with Verlander because he's going to pump heaters at him. I mean, this is a matchup that we could and see. And I want to see John postseason. Means. John Means could get the ball game three, game four in a big series for them. So I think every start for him is they're, they're really focused on. Yeah. Gunnar Henderson cements the rookie of the year.